From Seed to Plant by Alan Fowler. Seeds are in a lot of the foods you eat. Tomato seeds are tiny. You can swallow them and not even know it. Watermelon seeds are too hard to swallow. You spit them out. Peach seeds are too big to swallow. You eat around them. Seeds are important. All plants grow from seeds. How do seeds form? They begin with tiny grains called pollen. Pollen is made in the stamens of a flower. When a bee visits a flower, it sips its sweet nectar. Pollen clings to the insect's body. When the bee visits another flower of the same kind, some pollen falls into that flower's pistil. At the bottom of the pistil, a seed case holds eggs. Each pollen grain sends a slender tube down the pistil to the eggs. One tube grows into each egg in the seed case. The egg now becomes a seed. Inside the seed is the tiny plant or seedling and food for the seedling. The seed grows a tough wall around it. The seed case also changes. It may become the fruit of the plant, such as a watermelon or a pear. The seed case may also become a tough pod, such as a pea pod or peanut shell. The peas or peanuts inside are the seeds. To become a new plant, the seed takes a trip. Small seeds are blown by the wind. Some seeds float in water. Other seeds stick to fur of animals. When the seed lands, the trip is over. The seed will need good soil, water, and sunlight to grow. People plant seeds too. Farmers plant seeds to raise new crops. You might plant seeds in your own garden at home. Isn't it amazing that these tall trees grew from tiny seeds? Words you know, pistol, pod, seed case, Pollen, seed, stamen.